Hello you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Foundation. We're cracking on today with, um, well, I don't know to be honest, I'm just going to kind of play it by ear because my original thought was replacing the church, can't do that until we've earned some more splendor. So I think we need to build some more churches basically, um, which is fine, um, but we need a reason for building them. I think we could get away with one down here that could source, of, source this area, so to speak, and then I think our next neighbourhood is probably going to be over this area, so we could maybe do one down here as well. Um, the other thing I'm thinking of doing is perhaps moving moving the sheep across to this little island and seeing if we can get that set up uh, because currently the sheep and the wheat that is by the way to um because currently they're not doing too hot over here and this could all be prime real estate um lord manor's complete that's good what were we doing there oh these buildings of course so expand your treasury uh by no hold on parts let's have a look what do these parts do um so the tax office uh Boost this about by 50% currently assigned. No, this one here, tax office, uh, bailiff office, assign a bailiff. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what it does, but go ahead. Um, oh, here we go. Ah, I see. So we get little bonuses. So Emily, we get a 15% uh, trade bonus of village with with all of those okay we get a uh, happiness is less impacted by 15 percent or we get a trade bonus from a village with a lich so that's just the same right as that one well i don't know whether happiness is particularly low we have not we have 32 people lacking in health in thingy but global happiness is is fine so well no we'll go that one because i'm not really fussed about trade bonuses uh okay so that's that um Extension A, this it all needs to be treasury. Just just stick all the money in all of these buildings. Here we go, treasury. Let's get that number nice and high. And all the little bits don't do anything. Okay. Uh, there's an envoy here. I think you've just run off. Yeah, the mines mischief. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, everything else is going okay. But yeah, I definitely think expanding outward is the way to go. And I want to build a bridge. We've never, we've never built a bridge. So let's do a bridge. Uh, okay, so that building, that's classed as a monument because it's adjustable. So, wooden bridge. Uh, wooden bridge. So, from here, tempted to move the fishing place because I don't think anyone we've got is actually... Uh, oh, what's... Oh. That's just that. I don't think anyone we've got is actually particularly eating fish. We might be selling some, but I don't really have much else going on. I hope... Poor Rose doesn't get uh, messed up there that we've just deleted that. We could have a crash on our hands. Wooden bridge, okay. Oh, why? Hey, wordy, wordy, wordy. How did we build a bridge? Love can build a bridge. So control, control and mouse move into. Ah, uh, so no, I don't. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I mean, 220 planks. Wee wah wee wah. That is a big ask, but okay. Go ahead. We'll leave all of that then. Tell you what, let's start working on raising church splendor then. So I, I think a little churchy here, just a little one, that will feed into what will become hopefully a sort of uh, a semicircular um residential area here because at the moment we don't I don't believe we have any serfs waiting for houses so that's fine but when we do oh man when we do so uh, that's got 45 of them there but we're going to be a while before we've got that up and running lots of uh, lots of wood just not no planks hopefully they'll get working on that um, I think it's because we sell them but that's fine what was, this? what was I on about oh yeah rustic church nothing crazy now just a core rustic church down here uh, on the edge, so uh, entrance is actually going to be on the side. Let's do it that way. Yes, that's fine. Rustic church there. You will need a tower because you know you're a church. But I think I think that's all you need. Actually, let's have a look. Door. A core, a bell tower. Oh, yes, there. Yeah, they're the things you need. And then 
Just a door, just a, a plain door on the back, I think, of this. Yeah, we want to keep it simple, right? Um, a couple of couple of little graves down the back of crook towards the beach. Just to kind of, I don't like I said, I don't really believe these do much at all, but they look the part. And maybe a little wooden extension on the side because I feel like it needs something. That's where the graves get stored, I don't know. Start construction on that. Okay, so that'll be a little rustic church. And then we'll probably, like I say, we'll build a second one over here. Um, and then we'll replace the, the rustic one in the middle for a stone one as, as a more of a sort of central feature of the town with the market around it. I think that's not a bad idea. So, the other thing I noticed as well is I think... Uh, I don't know whether this has changed or if I just never really understood it when I first played this game. But I think that these houses now, um, they have... Um, they have resource requirements similar to Anno. Like, if you've played Anno, we've obviously covered it a lot on the channel. Really enjoyed the last one. Um, they have... So, the, the basic commoners, they just need bread and water, basically. If you level them up, they need some more stuff. So, if you look here, um, these these houses, the people who live here... So, Carl, for instance, young Carl, he needs to have a house. He needs to be able to get to water. He needs berries, and he needs faith. And that's it. Carl is happy with that, all right? But if we look at somebody who lives in here, such as Otto... He requires berries and bread, faith and clothing. So what I think that means is that is that really we should work on having sort of satellite uh, mini towns, mini villages that basically have a market stall that that supplies berries to people uh, and a well, and then they will eventually then feed into the centre of town. So we've kind of got that going on here. So what I'm thinking is um, we can have. Uh, we can maybe use this area here and try and create this as to be more of a sort of old, old village, you know, less of a village that just sort of has berries and, and water, basically. Once we can move the sheep over here, which I hope we can do once this is built, but my word, we're a, we're a way off, uh, way off that. But I definitely think that's probably the way to go, really, is to move smaller villages out and maybe even a little one over here, you know. Maybe not stopping anyone. As long as they can get to the stuff they need, which is... Um, I suppose the only one we would struggle with here probably is the church, I guess. Unless they could get up to town to the big one. But all these people should be pretty happy um, that they can access this little churchy down here. That's way off being built because of the tools. So, I, uh, I suppose we could start looking at opening up another area. Like I said, that we're going to have cows in. Which is going to be this one here, so... Let's let's do it. Territory. There we go. So the 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 neighbourhood itself is going to run around the estate there and be, and be quite affluent eventually with the market around the back. But we're going to start off by creating some uh, dairy farms down here. So you can see the negative area, which is fine. So we're going to place you uh, down there. That's a nice building. I just love the art style of this game. And I'm going to go for two because I want an excess of milk. Because, like I say, none of our none of our actual punters require this yet. But um, we're going to be able to sell it, which is good. And we'll also be able to sell the cheese that it produces. So let's there's the front of the cheese. Let's bring that around. So that's going to be a used as a front facing area. And they can get built there. So we've got milk and cheese coming in, which again, we can stick in the marketplace. But I don't think, if we look... Uh, I know some fish is being sold. Okay, I wasn't too sure, because it doesn't seem to be that anyone is, is eating fish. Unless we don't, we have a few higher up people, or perhaps sometimes they just they just fancy it. I don't know. So look in here, Richard. Oh, Richard wants bread and fish. And not berries. That's interesting. It seems to be like another level. But here, look, we can have people to become citizens. And I worry that if we have citizens, they're going to want even more stuff that we can't quite provide yet. So we'll leave them. But we will do a few commoners. Um, we've got quite a few unemployed people. They're going to become our dairy trades in a moment. So anyone with a decent level. There's only sort of fives and... There's a five. Maybe a few fours then. Five, four, four. There we go. That'll do. Boom. I'll see a few more houses pop up. No serfs, because at the moment we have unemployed people. And unemployed people mean no new people will move in. Um, we're going to have to up our... Uh, we're going to possibly entering a trade deficit here, if I'm not careful. 
because we are actually spending money out on trade. But we need some trading resources. We need some more tools because we're not generating them at the moment. So I want to have uh, 40 coming. I'm going to double the tool because we, we're always waiting for them. I imagine uh, we're not waiting for them on the bridge. No, that's just the wood that's coming in, but it's not, it's not really getting produced quick enough. Um, here... Rustic Church requires 17, and they have 7. Yeah, planks seems to be one. Do these require planks? Yeah, they require planks as well. Right, I think then, I think, I think, we have copious logs sat around, but not many planks. So I think another one of these in our logging area is perhaps needed. Put you down. And we're going to put you on priority, thank you. Uh, all these unemployed people, I've just realised, we could pro we could probably do with a few builders. So, uh, yes, job. Uh, builder. Builder. They want loads, because they, they do kind of sit around a lot. But we'll keep those four. See, this here, look, four villagers lack space for housing. But I'm sorry, but there's all this space. Really quite promising space here. I mean, build a house. Five villagers lack space for housing. Build a house! Do you want a house? Build a house. Tut tut. How are these getting on? Are you leveled up at all? Level one. The work's nine meters from home. That's good that it tells you that. See, people now move, I think. They, 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 they up, sh up shop. 69 meters from home. My goodness, where do you work? Transporting. That's not 69 metres from home. The transports are here. Nine, six villages lack space for housing. So build a house. Just look at all this prime real estate. Absolute prime real estate. I don't know why people aren't building houses there. Is it just because of the paths? What do you want, envoy? Envoy boy. If it's berries, you can do one. We do need to... Uh, I'm keeping it all. We do need to uh, increase berry rates. We've got two down there full. And we've only got one over here. Perhaps a second one there. And then there's a couple up there. And I think there was some over here, wasn't there? Oh yeah, that's right. We covered them up with the building. Whoops. Six space. I don't understand why these people aren't building houses. They should be building houses. Or maybe even upping the density of said housing. I'm, I'm interested to see what happens when this church gets finished. Um, there we go. Sawmill is complete. Get on there, three of you. Good. Let's get some planks made. Um, and now I'm going to put this church as priority. Rustic church. Priority build. All the planks are there. I'm not as worried about the, the bridge. As much as it will be great. Let's see, what's this here? 49 out of the 95. I don't understand that. 95. It needs 95 to finish. Yeah. but that, that, well, Why is that not one not red? Is it just because we've run out of them? I'm not sure. Neither decided to stay. No, we need to find jobs for people. These are getting done. This is good that these are getting done up. They have the tools. Again, it's the planks we're waiting for. Um, okay. All right, I'll tell you what, then, because there, there's literally not much else I can do at the minute while I'm waiting for planks, so we'll come back in a moment. Okay, pretty much all that is done now. We've got um, planks coming in. That's good. So here we go. It's telling me now the dairy farms and everything are done. So we've got one dairy farm done. We have a, uh, a cheese maker finished now as well, which is nice. Um, uh, the bridge is done as well. Allows to cross graps. And the little little uh, church here is done that now takes on 25 people. So I'm hoping that tells me there we go. Nobody's now awaiting... Uh, the church, which is good. It's still, still telling me, excuse me, that six villagers lack space for housing, but I'm hoping we fix that soon. Whether they are uh, prime villagers or not, I don't know. That might be the problem, is that they're top-end villagers and they don't wish to to build crappy housing. So, but, I mean, this is a pretty good spot here, look. This should be, this should be, uh, like, be, you know, all built on. And I'm quite surprised it isn't. I mean, maybe... 
Maybe, maybe, maybe we move the church up a little and and turn this all into residential here. Maybe that's what needs to happen. Yeah. Maybe that's what we need to do. But we are going to build a uh, a proper uh, proper uh, church. Sorry. And to do that, we need to unlock here. So small stone wall and church can be unlocked. Very good. Oh, tavern. That sounds good. Might as well unlock all this stuff while we can. So, big old church here on the edge of the town. It might just take this uh, crop field away a little. So as next year it isn't so much of a bother. Maybe bring it out this way just slightly instead. There we go. Ready for next year. Um, and imagine that building's not there. We're going to probably build into it a little. We're going to pause the game while we figure this out. So, uh, let's have a look. Church. So again, it's. I think it has more people, but more importantly, it just it looks the part as well, doesn't it? You know, it just looks better. So we've got roughly the same sort of size building, I think, apart from uh, we've got extensions, nice extensions here with ends on look. Round towers, big towers, small towers, door. Okay, so actually not as... Oh, we do have gargoyles, though. That's cool. Oh, and archways, look. We can have a little archway into it. That would be cool. <gasps> and stained glass windows. Oh, yes. Okay. So, core. Core blind me, indeed. Core. Let's have it there. And then we are trying to packing in a little bit much here. I mean, there's all this space here as well that isn't village either. Alright. So, there's going to be a core. I feel like it should be a while taller than it is. There we go. Uh, small tower. Let's look at you then. I don't quite know what you are. Oh, you are? No, you do have a bell on you. Okay. Well, that's not what we want. We want this one here, don't we? So let's get an extension on the back here. Yes, there. That's good. And then a core tower there. Much taller than that, of course. There we go. Yes. Actually, I mean, I'm tempted for that to be the front of it, really. Be more like that, really, shouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, these things on the side, because you know they're just they're cool. And one on the other. As I said, when I built the little one, these things making a sort of cross shape is really what I have in my head when I think of a church. I'm going to untoggle that, place it so that it's sticking out in the middle there. Uh, oh, let's try and line it up right there, eh? And uh, bringing it up a little. Yes, good. Okay, I would say that's pretty good for the shape and size of it. Used a lot of the things I wanted to. Uh, where would you have a stained glass window? I guess it's going to be nowhere I can get it now. Annoyingly, I really want one though. Let's let's. Uh, oh, ah, I don't want that to be like that. But I want it. I'm happy for that to go lower, if it means I can get a stained glass window above it, which I can. Yeah, that's nice. Well, it even looks like it carves it into the into the wall almost. Pretty impressive. Uh, cross. Where would that go? Right, yeah, up there. That's good. Uh, and then I do want the archway. Unfortunately, it's going to have to... Oops. I'm going to have to turn that toggle off. I have to kind of guess where it's going to go. Because it's really going to sit sort of in, in where the old one is, really. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll draw the wall once it's been done. We'll add some... Uh... Oh, can we get a gargoyle? Oh, yes! Get some of them badens around. 
This is 111 polished stone, 77 tools, 10 glass, which we don't have. We're going to have to buy some glass in. So we can't... Ooh, we can have blue, red, or stone. I'm going to go... I'm going to go blue. So, oh, it doesn't even have a door. <laughs> nice. Let's put a door on the front, hey, just to, just to keep it happy. Blue. Start. My word, that's going to take a million years. And until it's built, we won't get rid of the little rustic one that sits in front of it. But they can start clearing the area out, at least. One villager lacks space. Ah, so not six. So who just who just built a house, then? Or upgraded a house. Someone did. Now three require space. Look. Okay, well in the meantime, while our big church project gets done, let's look at moving uh, sheep across the bridge. So we have... How many of these do we have in the end? Just the two, right? So, and that seems to be enough. We've always got clothes in stock. So I'm going to say two sheep farms across the bridge. One... And two. There we go. Let's go create a bad area. That's fine. I quite like. I, I know I have this on a lot, but I, I quite like being able to see. Uh, what do you want? Fish? We can totally do that. Let's have a look where we need to research next. Um, so we can have a trade bonus. Gain a trade bonus of twenty percent with villages of allegiance of uh, labour. Um, the tavern wall. Uh, we can do a hunter's hut. Oh, that's something new. That what do they? What does hunters give us? What do hunters give us? That's just stuff we've got, isn't it? What do hunters give us? Trade. Huh. Boars. Ooh. So hunter's hut. Uh, but uh, do you know what? I really want to head to a weaponsmith. That could be useful, to be fair, because our, our military is completely useless. Yeah, okay. So, all right. We'll go kingdom then. Uh, kingdom is 10 of that. Yeah, and we can give them the fish straight away. There we go. So, uh, that's this one. We have 10 points, but we need to up our splendor a little. 15 splendor. So, what gives us, what gives us kingdom splendor? Uh, there we go. Rustic turns, wooden bridge, wooden keep. Wooden keep gives us kingdom splendor. Uh, is that it? Yeah, the wooden keep is the only thing that gives us kingdom splendor. So I suppose we have to either upgrade this a little or build another one a bit further out, maybe. Maybe stick one down here as a secondary entrance. Maybe that's what we do. Because we need to upgrade our splendor. Um... 8.2. Yeah, makes me capacity 6. Uh, yeah, all of these wooden tops add some splendor. The core itself adds quite a bit. So maybe maybe rather than having it just fence on one side. Oh well there's a well, I suppose we could move the well. We have a we have a, a another building on the other side of the gate. Yeah, I think that's what we do. There we go. So we're going to delete you. Uh, What's the control left click? There we go. Take all that away because you're useless. Uh, okay, and then we can um, go into edit and add a new core. There's the one. Well, the one gap that's going to be the doorway is there, so that can come there. Yeah, this makes sense, right? But maybe do it... Uh, hold on, the gate's quite far in there, look. People should still be able to get in there. Okay. Uh, stairwell, let's keep it a bit sim more simple on this side. Roof, let's go for the... Um, that's one of those, isn't it? Let's go for the... There we go, that's what we want. Just a plain roof on that one. Uh, get, a, get a flag on it. Does that add splendour? It does as well. Even the wooden gate adds a little bit of splendor. Let's get yeah. Then well, we can sort this out. We can get some, get some little added splendor here with these things, can't we? Look at that. There we go. Wooden gate. Can't get enough of your wooden gate. Get a little. It's good to do. Oh, it's all adding splendor. Look. Okay. Well, let's uh, 
Let's turn T off. Squeeze a bit, a few bits in. I mean, like I say, you can, if you were so inclined, just like drop a core on top of each other, you know, and build up that way. But I'm not a cheat, folks. I'm not a cheat. So these are can be assigned a function. A stone extension. I'm tempted to build another another little sort of side building out just as people come in, you know. I can't like that. I can't like the idea of uh, having something like this. A stone extension with something like that on the side of it. I need to get rid of these. I mean, that is just... Is it too tall, that? It is a little, isn't it? What about the other one? Small porch. No, it's the same. It's just... Okay, what about... Can you go Can you go up? Oh, okay. You can go up. All right, so you go to there. You go to there and go one up as well. Now, this long porch should fit quite nicely on it. Oh, and it does as well. Look at that. Uh, get a, this is all adding to Splendor as well, isn't it? Awesome. Okay, what am I covering up there? Get that on the side. Actually, you're quite good where you are. Uh, small extension on the back there. Bit of a coal shed or something, I guess. Go on, in the middle. That's where I want you. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we just need a doorway on you. We have a regular door, don't we? There we go. So I'll have you there. With a wooden gate upon you. Oh, would that make more sense in the middle, would it? It would, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, nowhere for a flag. That's fine. A couple of dummies outside. There we go. And then these banners. Love these. Get a few of them on the on the way in, just to, to tell them of our tales. Tell them what they're coming in for, eh? This is what you're going to get. Start it. Another 500 planks, I think that one is. There we go. Some of it comes in straight away, which is nice. But yeah, that's going to be a, a big build. Uh, but in the meantime, how's the church doing? Church is coming on. Loving the blue roof. Yeah, rock, that's rocking the blue roof. Doing pretty good. It's got all the planks it needs as well. It's mostly polished stone, that one. Oh, and tools. Not much we can do about that. They, 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 we're still trading those in. Um, how about these? Oh, all of this. All of this that we built. Look, has nobody in. Uh, assign villager. Our dairy farmers. Get to work. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Seems acceptable. Would oh, you see them all come out then like a caterpillar? Look at them. They're not dairy cows. Are they? I thought dairy cows were black and white. Or is that just me being incorrect? Two cheesemakers. Oh, we only have one cheesemaker. We only have one person. That's everyone's employed now, and everyone's pretty happy. We should have some guest villagers come in now. So four lacking, four lacking housing, seven lacking thingies. That's fine. So promote the serfs. Now, come on. Just go and get yourself some housing. Now, there we go. These are slowly getting done over here. I mean, they are not priority at all. They're waiting on uh, tools. But, you know, we're building a monster church. Oh, excuse me. Just have a little sip of... Uh, Sip of water. Right, this is just like a nice little spot here. Look, in between the cows and the and the stone cutting, it's like a nice little greener bit. Cool. Right, I think we'll leave it there. Not much to show because everything's sort of under construction. But the big church is going up. The bridge is done. Uh, I'm recording a few of these back to back, so I'm starting to lose track of what we've done this episode. I'm pretty sure cows are new, right? That's going to be our screenshot. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Till the next one. Be good.